Well, this is an exciting technological adventure for me. From Punta Gorda, Florida. My name is Neil Atkinson. Wayne Helene is a friend of mine. He is a friend of yours. The fact is, Wayne is in the present, not the past. He is more in the present today than he has ever been in his life. That is our hope. And that is the truth. It is fortunate that we can thank our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for the reality of forever life. It is also fortunate that we can thank him that we will see wane again, some of us sooner than we might expect. For the old, those in the audience who are not believers, this is the ultimate inconvenient truth. Wayne and I met in 1973 in a church in Orange County. I was the youth pastor. He was a member. To say that he was older and more mature is like saying that Billy Graham is more mature than Justin Bieber. Though Wayne was my senior, we connected well. He was not my mentor. He was my brother. We spent a lot of time together. Lunches, breakfast, ski treats. Trips. We even had a glass of wine or two. Maybe, yeah, well, maybe two. He was Margie's doctor and delivered our daughter Jody. We talked a lot. We laughed much. We wept more than we laughed. But above all, we loved one another. The fact that a lifetime friendship was formed in 18 months, months indicated the intensity and the depth of that relationship. Oh my, Wayne. Scripture tells us that the law came through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. In Southern California, Wayne Helene was the embodiment of that verse. He walked it, talked it, doctored it, and sang it. Oh, how he loved to proclaim the Lord through his choir ministry. They say that a good friendship, like a good marriage, there has to be a balance. That if both of us are the same, one of us is unnecessary. Wayne and I had that kind of friendship. Now, I was not much for choirs. I could never get the robe thing, for instance. But one of my fondest memories was listening to Wayne extol the virtue of next Sunday's musical offering while I sat there with the proverbial deer-in-the-headlights look. How he saw the theological implications that he did is beyond my pay grade. Your doctoring days are no longer needed, Wayne. Sing on. Sing on. Amen and amen.